everybody, welcome back to my travel vlog. Let's talk about Naxos, Greece. I just want to start off by saying that Greece is just, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. <laughs> it is gorgeous. If you don't know, Naxos is located in the southern part of the island chain of Greece. So we took an easy jet flight from Athens to the island of Ea. From Ea, we took a ferry, which was 23 euros, to Naxos. So before I went to Naxos, I was kind of worried about getting a ferry ticket because I was like, do I have to order these things online? I don't know what to do. And honestly, if you are in Ea, I think if you are in any of those uh, any of those islands that travel to Naxos, you can just buy a ferry ticket right at the dock. We bought our ticket in town. It was 23 euros one way to get to uh, Naxos. It makes a few stops to other islands before it gets to Naxos. And I think like there's a ferry every hour, every two hours or something like that. Not 100% sure, just make sure to check when you get there, but you'll find out on the day that you're actually there. So super, super important thing. I will say once the boat started moving, I observed a lot of people that got left behind because they don't play with that ferry. They don't play, they are on time. Don't think you're gonna hop on, hop off or anything like that. It's not that way. They get into a port, they let everybody out. The people that were waiting, come on. All of that is done in literally 20 minutes. And if you are not on that ferry, when it's time to go, dog eat your lunch. So uh, we get off at Naxos. Our Airbnb host was waiting for us at the port, which was super sweet. So once we were at the Airbnb, we unpacked because it was a long trip. We were in Athens, we were in Santorini, and it was just a long trip. And so we just wanted to unpack, unwind, and relax. The first day we got in, we just chilled out. And then the next day we got up bright and early and we headed to the beach because Naxos is just beaches. I think the name of the beach that we went to was St. George's Beach or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. What are you doing? So we went to the beach and we ended up meeting some women. They were traveling uh, from the States. We were explaining how we were from the Bahamas, et cetera, et cetera. And she was like, okay, great. You have to go to this beach by the name of Plaka. It is the most beautiful beach on the island. And it's only like a 35, I think, 35, 45 minute drive away from where we are right now. So we were like, cool. So we jumped on a bus. I think it was like a Euro 50 or something like that one way. Mind you, the beach that we were at prior, I didn't get in the water or anything like that. I just walked really close to the, to the shoreline and that was it. This is my real first experience on a beach in Europe, right? And we are on the Aegean Sea. So as we got in, man, the water was so clear. It was so beautiful and tranquil too. And the pebbles at the bottom, it's different colors and everything. It's just really pretty. And the mountains in the distance, oh, gorgeous. So let me tell you what happened on this beach called Plaka. So me and my cousin, we go into the water. So when we get in the water, we're chilling out, talking about life. We turn and we look on the shore where my aunt is sitting. Right? No, I think she was in the water with us. And we realized there's an older gentleman standing next to our things. He had to have been like about 80, 85 years old. A much seasoned fellow, right? Our stuff is safe. This is an older gentleman. He's not going to do anything to our things. So there's no need to panic. There's not a lot of people here. So we continue with our conversation, but we're facing the shore, you know? Then he proceeds to take off his swimming trunks. Listen, listen, if I, I yelp, that's the word yelp, <laughs> I yelp <laughs> and my cousin was like, oh Lord, <laughs> we were like, what the hell is going on? Like legit, like 
he came running in the water in our direction and my cousin's like girl let's get out of here listen before she even said that i was already out of that water okay he could have that whole beach to his he could have no he listen he don't even need to have the whole beach he could have the whole ocean to his self he could take that ocean okay and it was just like what type of beach this is so then like we started really paying attention and we noticed there were a lot of people with their tops off and and they were like a couple they didn't have any clothes on they were sunbathing and we were like oh my god this is like a nude beach listen i wasn't ready i was not ready because in my mind i'm like okay yeah we go into one little beach or whatever the situation is first time and last time first and last time first and last i can't do it i can't <laughs> I consider myself to be a very liberal thinking person. I consider myself to be a uh, very open mind. But that was first and the last time. I good. I'm good. <laughs> so that was our first experience on a beach in Europe and it ended up being a nude beach. What are the odds, right? <laughs> Listen, we is experience some things. The food in Naxos is much cheaper than it is in Ia. AK Santorini. Uh it's way cheaper. Like we had dinner one night and my food was 7 euros, my aunt's food was 7 euros, my cousin's food was 7 euros. Everything was just so much cheaper than it was on the other islands. And so I was really happy that I chose Naxos for that reason alone. You know this is a budget travel vlog and you know I am about spending a bunch of money. So I was really satisfied with our time there. So basically all we did was beach. We would go to the beach and we would just hang out. We would just sunbathe because I love sunbathing. So we would just sunbathe the entire time. And we would just talk about life because that's what you do. Then we would eat and then we would stroll, eat, wash, rinse, repeat. That's what we did the whole time we were there. And uh, on the day before we left, so we ended up on that long aisle that leads you to uh, these ruins, which was the temple of Apollo in its day, which was probably like a thousand years ago. And people are jumping off into the water. It's so gorgeous. From there, you can see the Zeus mountains uh, off in the distance. It's really, really beautiful and picturesque. That is so gorgeous. It is just breathtaking. And one thing I can say about Naxos is how safe it is. Everybody has a different experience for sure, but I felt safe in Naxos. We were walking around at like 10, 11 o'clock at night. We got lost. It's like a whole maze, so it's really easy to get lost. And it took us like an hour to uh, find where we were staying because we did not have a GPS. And yeah, and we didn't feel like we were in danger or somebody was going to come and mug us or anything like that. It just felt completely safe. And that's one of the things I loved about it. I loved how clear and clean the water was. I loved how cheap the food was. I loved how friendly the people were. And every time somebody hears that we're from the Bahamas, that's the conversation. <laughs> that is a conversation. Every time it's like, you're from where we're from the Bahamas. Oh, Bahamas. <laughs> That's how it is every single time. So I loved it. It was awesome. Um, the only thing I did not like about my trip, our Airbnb hosts. Oh my God. <laughs> every single morning at 8 a.m., our Airbnb hosts would knock on our door. I'm not talking about light knocking, like room service. No, no, no. I'm talking bam, 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 bam. 
eight o'clock every morning because he served breakfast and he wanted everybody that was staying in his like uh it was like a multi it was like a multi-room type of thing that he had going on and so he wanted everybody to come at the table my aunt and my cousin they would go and they would have breakfast and i would be in bed texting of course <laughs> anyway and then he was like why is she not coming out? Why is she not coming out? Something wrong, it's something wrong. And I was like, bruh, I am chilling, okay? I don't need to eat this early. I need to eat at around 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is the time that I want to eat because I am not stressed about catching this flight, doing this and going here and seeing this museum. I am in a state where I wanna eat when I'm ready to eat, bruh. That's it, that's it. <laughs> so anyway, listen. I thought Italians were blunt. You need to meet some Greek people. Like they will let you know what they are thinking. Sometimes the honesty can be refreshing, but listen, if you're not aware, it like it it can be ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but they are sincere people they're genuine people and they are so sweet so definitely greece is oh it's one of my favorite places now in europe i love it it's awesome so that was my vlog for naxos greece and if you have any questions about this trip be sure to leave a comment in the comment section and I will try my best to answer it. If you are on Facebook, be sure to like this page. If you are on YouTube, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.